Hi and welcome to the Photoshop shop. Today we're going to show you how to adjust colors and tones as well as do corrections to white balance. We've all taken pictures either outside or in studio in very controlled situations only to still have our white balance and our color be very off. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to show you a couple different techniques today and which one you use will really depend on what you're trying to fix on each image. There are no rules so let's get started. The first way we're going to show you is to add an adjustment layer and we're going to go up to levels and within our levels it's showing that we are working in an RGB here is our black eyedropper our gray and our white now in this particular image there's a lot of red I can just tell that my leaves have way too much red in them so if I click on the white eyedropper and I go to a part of the image that I feel should be white when I click it it doesn't do a whole lot to correct the red tones now if I go up and select the black eyedropper and I select an area that I know to be a very black area, you'll notice that does a lot more for removing the red. So like I said, there are many ways to do your color corrections. You're just going to have to try and experiment. Let's go ahead and delete this layer. Another way to do color corrections is go up to Layer, New, Layer, click OK. Then we're going to go up to Edit, Fill, and we're going to fill it with 50% gray. Click OK. Then go to the blending and go down to difference and that is going to show you anywhere that is true 50% gray will be the black areas. Now if you have any doubt you can add another layer above that which is threshold. As you move the slider all the way to the black the first areas to show up are true gray. So as we can see this little blob here when we zoom in is probably the closest area to true gray. So you'll go over here, come over to your tool selectors, select, select your color sampler tool, and drop a color sampler there. Now we'll go ahead and zoom out, close this, we'll delete the threshold, we don't need that anymore, and we'll delete the gray layer, we don't need that anymore. We'll go down and we'll add a new adjustments layer, we'll go to levels, we'll select our gray eyedropper, and now all of our colors have been adjusted properly. So there's two different ways to do color corrections in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. See you next time at the Photoshop shop.